those of you who are millennials, and others of you who were alive and paying attention during Whitewater, but still are not sure what it really was, would you like for me to tell you in one paragraph what it was? You really want to know what Whitewater was? It's real simple, and it's real slimy. Whitewater, the Clintons' Whitewater with scam with, uh, with Jim McDougal and his wife Susan, he was the money guy. Clintons didn't have any money. It was a real estate scam where they bought development property, resort-type property, near bodies of water and so forth, Whitewater in, uh, in Arkansas. They built homes. They bought lots. And what they did... They aimed this development at seasoned citizens. It was, a, it, it was not an old folks home. It was, it was single family homes. Seasoned citizens, wealthy, moderately wealthy retirees could buy and live in single family dwellings. The Clintons would cheat the seniors out of their down payments if the buyer missed one mortgage payment. The Clintons repossessed the property and resold it. And they did this over and over and over. It was a scam designed to sell property to people who couldn't afford it. They got the down payment from them. And then, and of course, when something's financed, the finance company gives you the payment and the person living in it makes monthly payments. So you sell a house, you get the money for it from the bank or wherever. The person with the mortgage pays the bank back. Well, the Clintons got the money, the McDougals got the money from whoever was financing it. And if these retirees missed, it was, in the, it was in the document, you missed one mortgage payment, the thing was repossessed. And they did this, and they kept flipping these properties over and over. I mean, it was, a, it was, it was targeted to the seasoned citizen population. But it was not just limited to them. But the people that were ended up getting approval to buy property were people who it was suspected might not be able to make a payment at some point. And when they missed one, the Whitewater Development Corporation swept in there and repossessed the property and kicked out the old folks and resold the property. That's essentially what Whitewater was. Now, it took the New York Times, gosh, how many days and reams of paper and words to explain it all. But if you're like me, and you can make the complex understandable, that's essentially what uh, it was. In other, the Clintons were the original predatory lenders. The Clintons were the ones that told the subprime guys, showed the subprime guys how it's done. You qualify people who aren't qualified. You take advantage of them when they can't pay. You repossess and you resell it. The subprime was obviously a little different than that, but that's what Whitewater was. It was a get-rich-quick scheme. It was designed to sell again and again properties over and over. Not sell a bunch of properties, just you know, sell a few and flip them. Predatory lending. And the Clintons, that's what everybody else did. There weren't any legitimately wealthy people. Everybody cheated people. I mean, hell, that's what liberals think anyway. They don't need to, 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 to resent rich people uh, on the come. They do anyway. They don't believe that wealth is legitimate unless it's inherited like the Kennedys. Let me give you another uh, explanation of what Whitewater was, and it's actually a better one than the one I gave you. It comes from, interestingly enough, Peter Schweitzer, and his book, uh, what was the title of his book, was uh, Do As I Say, Not As I Do, and this page 108 and 109. Uh, now the, the Schweitzer book, Do As I Say, Not As I Do, was not a hit piece on the Clintons, per se. It was uh, a book that chronicled the hypocrisy of a whole bunch of liberal politicians and public figures. It it. it contained data, information on the Clintons, but if you remember, it hit a lot of people. And here's what Schweitzer wrote about, uh, about Whitewater. When customers wanted to buy a lot, they signed a simple purchase agreement, but this was no ordinary real estate contract. The small print at the bottom read, in the event the default continues for 30 days, payments made by the purchaser shall be considered as rent for the use of the premises. So in other words, the buyers did not actually take ownership of their property until the final payment was made. If a buyer missed just one monthly payment, all of their previous payments would be classified as rent and they would lose their equity. That's what Whitewater was. 
Miss one payment. Doesn't matter how much you've paid prior, you lose your equity. You're automatically reclassified as a renter. And guess where the equity went? It ended up being transferred to? Well, the people at Whitewater, the ran it. It would be the McDougals and the Clintons. So you ended up losing all your equity. You became a renter if you missed just one payment. The fine print the clause just read to you. And in some cases, they could foreclose. They could repossess if you missed a couple, and then they just sell it and, and flip it again. That's what Whitewater was. It was, it was a screw job.